Hi, I'm Dr. Aditya Sethi, a children's eye specialist. Uh, today, this video I'm making is for all parents to understand what myopia is and what all management schemes we have today. So let's start with the basics. Uh, I want to talk to you about an eye condition that you may know is called nearsightedness. Medically, it's called myopia. Myopia occurs when the eye grows too long. It becomes longer and longer and this leads to light focusing in front of the film of the eye or the retina instead of directly on it. This results in a blurry image for the child and the child does not do so well in his academic and his sports activities. The exact cause of myopia is not fully understood but factors like genetics, parents ha uh, having myopia, excessive near work, spending too much time on screens or reading can contribute to its development. This is a point of concern. Now, let's talk about treatments available today. Early intervention is crucial in managing myopia and reducing its progression. To talk about progression is very, very, very uh, important because the earlier we detect it, the better the results later. So eyeglasses or contact lenses are the first solution. They provide clear vision by compensating for the refractive error. Regular eye exams are important to ensure the prescription is up to date. We don't prefer to undercorrect or overcorrect the prescription. Nowadays, we also have the option of orthokeratology, also known as OrthoK. It involves wearing specially designed contact lenses overnight to gently reshape the cornea and thereby temporarily correcting uh, the vision and allowing your child to see clearly without uh, the need for glasses. Also helps in preventing uh, progression of myopia. What's now interesting is availability of low-dose atropine eye drops or myopia drops. These eye drops are used to slow down the progression of myopia. They are safe, effective, and used under guidance of a qualified eye care professional only. Remember, every child is unique and the treatment approach may vary based on their individual circumstances. So it's important to get in touch with your pediatric ophthalmologist to determine the best course for your child. I encourage lifestyle changes into all my patients who come in because we know that the sunlight and outdoor activities and reducing the near work like screen time can also help manage myopia to a large extent. Studies suggest that spending time outdoors in natural light may actually help reduce the progression of myopia the most. So to ensure your child gets the best vision possible, I recommend scheduling regular eye exams, especially if you notice any changes in their vision or their visual activities. As a pediatric ophthalmologist, I'm here to guide you through this journey and provide the best care for your child's eyes. Thank you for joining me today. Together, we can help your child see a bright future. And if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to my page or my our clinic address mentioned down and above. Thank you.